Okay, so now let's look about look at the light behind understanding and understanding because so it's been the trend for many years now for people to say, "Oh, I understand." And and leaving out the word understanding. Well, I'm here to say bring back understanding because you can't have understanding without understanding first. And I and you know, there are a reason why we have certain words in our in our um, language, they really have the right meaning and the right light behind them. So we can't, I mean, I don't know, I just get a little irked when I hear, oh, I have understanding, but you cannot have understanding unless you have understanding. So let's look at the energies of those two words. There you go. So understanding, the foundation of understanding before we can understand, which by the way, inner standing really has a different connotation. I don't know if that's the right word. And no, I'm not going to look up the Hebrew letters behind that. Inner standing, understanding really means, ah, I've had an, I've had an understanding of truth something inner standing really from my perspective is now i have the strength to stand inwardly i am inner standing i'm in alignment with something but we have to have understanding first before we can feel an alignment in 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 our being that creates a whole new perception of reality. Anyway, so understanding, the foundation of understanding is the number seven. And this is all about truthful communication. Um, the number seven is the double-edged sword. You know, it is at its shadowy level, someone hiding their true face, kind of like putting on, saying one thing, but not really telling you the truth. And what What's being hidden is the deep, dark feelings, emotions, just the darkness. And it doesn't have to be really dark. It just means how you really feel or the truth that you want to communicate that you're hiding. So understanding the foundation, you cannot have any understanding if you do not have truthful communication really digging deep and saying, yeah, this is how I feel. This is what I perceive. Um, this is my story, no matter how ugly or reactive or whatever the thing, you have to have communication from both sides in order to have understanding. And hopefully at the highest level, to have true understanding in order to get understanding, the seven eventually wants the integration or even the, dis, the dissolving of the egoic self. So you're really standing, your foundation is the true self speaking. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So communication has to be the foundation of understanding. And then when you have understanding of something, of someone, of a relationship, then that obviously grounds you into your body. So it's a form of embodiment. Communication creates embodiment. And it gives you the ability to relate to people on a, an emotional level. It grounds you to, to Mother Earth. And it makes you, you know, really likable. There's no hiding. You're grounded. Also, it helps to awaken the light that's within your body because you're becoming more embodied. And of course, that is the outcome of an understanding. It grounds you even further into your body. So you have understanding from clear, truthful, honest communication. And then what happens is you get inner standing the in, inside of you, your truth, you create a whole new perception of reality. That's the foundation of inner standing, as well as it even further embodies you 
However, it awakens the inner, the inner standing, that word inner standing to me represents when I think of that word, I get the visual of Kundalini standing erect. She is she has risen fully straight up your spine and mm, fully awake and alive. So it's more of an internal process rather than a mental. I don't know where I'm going with this, but the success of understanding turns to inner standing where you get a whole new perception, a whole new truth with which to live by which once again uh, grounds you into your body, shines your light out into the world. And the success of that is nine, is empowerment. Kundalini has risen, or perhaps it's just empowerment of being in, um, actualizing your potential out into the world. Okay, so that's the difference between, or actually understanding and understanding. Please don't throw understanding out. <laughs> Because we really, it is a good word and we need it in order to have inner standing. But we don't understand something first, we understand it.